all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to another black desert grind video so after the change of basically all the dr and everything and all the changes to every class's skills kind of wanted to do a little bit of grinding um we're gonna be at the highlands today simply because one it's uh i just wanted a break from tungrad and two because i downgraded my debo ring because i did some smart things like this and fail three pen attempts and that was not fun so anyway will that affect anything not really like realistically it's like minus three dp or three ap but i'm kind of above average but anyway with that said it's gonna grind here because i needed a break from somewhere else but i still want to get the devil rings and um yeah so with that said let me there's a lot of things I have to remember to pop. I think they're talking about, um, what is it? A universal press one button for everything kind of thing in the future. So that's good. 282. Let me just go by these real quick. All right, 300. Anyway, we don't have the buff thing on. I think I have the node. Yeah, nodes at 20. I haven't been here in a while, so... Oh god. Things might be a little bit scuffed. Haven't been here since the change, that's for sure. I know how to do the... thing where you only get to one leg. You just have to kind of stand a little bit further from it, and it shouldn't be too bad at all. Let me turn on the trash loot. There we go. Some spots I heard feel a lot better and some f spots don't feel as good with the whole change because you know, for example, all classes had something where it's like, here, do a thousand damage times 10 attacks. Now it's like, do 5,000 damage times two attacks, which I think overall is a better thing, but like damage scaling doesn't work like that in this game, so. Yeah, I guess it's time to test all those bots again. Oh, I should probably turn this on. I only have 13,000. Got Highlands was actually a good spot for Agris, but I don't even have a full stack. I brought it up before that if they were to change anything about the spot is don't make things spawn on the robot because it kind of gets stuck at the top. And if you're trying to min-max loot, feels kind of bad, but I don't. I just kind of grind, and then whatever happens, happens. I don't sweat too much these days on it. But yeah, also, the reason why I'm here is I, I want silver. I also want those Arethia's Limbo tokens if I can get it, and I'm pretty sure this place drops it. I think they're all at like the same rate, so let me see. Lakita, Highlands, High okay, so yeah, Highlands just dropped Limbo Seal. I'm gonna be honest, this feels the same as before, which is, I think is their goal, like when they changed the everyone's skill damage and everything. Um, so ideally, it's supposed to feel the same. Technically, right now, I am less AP than before. But, like, realistically, it doesn't matter. Oh, 
I was trying to see if it felt better killing the leg like any faster at all. It, it really felt felt the same. I heard that Kabua's artifacts these days are <laughs> not what they used to be. I guess next down phase I'll look at how much they cost with Light Aura. By the way, make sure to actually do your event while it's still going on. It's kind of an annoying one, to be honest. Because you have to upgrade the thing all the way to pen. And that one's RNG. Like, we definitely don't need more RNG events. Like, enhancing, grinding, pretty bad. But the good news is, we talked about this in a few other videos before, how to get your free pen black stars. Uh, the new Dosa class is coming out next week. So that's pretty exciting. We got content and yeah. I don't know if I want to play it on seasonals or do I want to just play it as it comes out? Because it is, there's something fun about trying a new class on what like 300 AP and plus. But at the same time, you have to learn your class first, so seasonals might be fine. Guess it depends if they give us a season token. We'll do what... Whatever happens. How much trash loot is considered good here these days? I remember before the change, I was getting like 40k. And now after the change, I have no idea. In theory, it should be at least the same. But I've seen people get like crazier numbers than before. Not particularly at this spot, but other ones. Let me see if I can snipe that foot. Oh my god. It did like five jumps. That is not how you one cycle it. However, the one thing I do want to talk about a little bit is the whole PvP aspect. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> unless they make some changes, I don't know if I'm going to be PvPing anymore on Dark Knight. It does not feel good. We're a uh, PvP -er, or a PvE -er nowadays. Like before, before the whole change, it was, I mean, like Dark Knight as good as it was, it was just okay in general. But now it's either you're a tank or you do no damage. I hope the Sovereign weapons don't take too long to come out for NA, or I guess NA and EU. 
Cause I'm actually excited. Like I wanna, I want a new journey that's not enhancing accessories that downgrade, and especially when they're like 25 bill a click <laughs> on top of a 70 bill item. Watch are these. Oh my god, they're 50 mil each now. Minus tax, that's like... Another 7 mil. Alright boys, we gotta look at this. I think I saw like six. Yeah, I don't know about that leg leg burst. I feel like I'll, I'll be lucky to get 35k loot. I think I need to turn off the auto aim. Game. Can I have one Kabua's artifact to make up for the uh, 100 bill I lost this this week? Enhancing has been rough. Hey, these light auras are dropping a lot when you grind, but when I do a lot of gathering, it doesn't feel like anything's happening. The 
The hardest part, though, of enhancing Debos is actually getting the bases. I know, in theory, they made it a little bit easier to get off of uh, Rift bosses, or you can actually get them now. But, like, your main source of Debo rings are going to be from grinding. Got the horse buff. Ember. That's kind of rare from this spot. Are these still 100 mil, though? That looks like they're still 100. Oh, you just get another one? Huge. like do for a limbo or Arethia token at any point now because that Tungrad I think I'm like 20 hours dry that doesn't feel good We'll calculate everything after the hour, but we still got a long way to go. Are you guys excited for the new class? I, overall, I'm not really sure. Because do I really think BDO needs more classes right now? No. But um, at the same time, it would give me something to do. In theory, this change is supposed to be better. I don't know. Feels a little bit worse in this spot, but I actually pulled higher numbers at Tungrid after the change.
If they gave us the free pen black star already, I wonder how long it'll be until sovereign weapons come out. I assume maybe, if I have to guess, maybe a month or two. I think they're preparing everyone else's like, oh, you got one. Now it's time to get the second one. I'm just glad that mine is over. For all the people who have to grind for the jewel or whatever, we all know that's going to be like the dumbest, lowest drop rate you've ever seen. So I think realistically, it's probably better to, you know, save up like 50, 60 billion now, wait for the pen black star market to drop a little bit because everyone's selling them. Wait till pen black stars go to like 50, 60 billion. And then buy your second one. Words have we gotten? <laughs> if I can get it, I'm gonna click it. Oh, we failed. Yeah, the change to his skills feels different. Like, in theory, it's supposed to be the same, but it just, I feel like it, the scaling is off. One of these trash loot pieces is going to have a token. Surely. I mean, not what we wanted, but made like 300 mil off of this so far. Back a little bit. Oh my god, why is the arrow on the other way? Can't see.
supposedly this spot is supposed to be less than Tungrad. I'm not so sure about that, actually. I feel like this one could be more with, like, average RNG. I hate how you can get tracked in PvE. Ooh, let me get it. Honestly, I think I just need more practice in this spot. One thing I wanted to do was go for the archaeologist map. But, like, things did not line up. And... Debo rings came out, so you have to grind for the spot that drops the Debo rings. And then, if I were to have gotten it, it would have been nice. character paused for a second so I thought I got something rare and I was looking in my loot and it's like nope you didn't get anything good your character just paused I think we need 15 of them to do another click Also, did you guys know that Q block doesn't give you the DP anymore? It just gives you a forward guard, which I mean, with the whole change, probably for the best. I hate this phase, the one with the small pizza line.
Ooh, another fragment. Ooh, a piece of candy. I'm not gonna lie, at a quick glance, like out of the corner of my eye, those kind of look like the Kabuya's artifacts. I'm sure this grind spot is great for other classes, but man, I maybe Dark Knight is not the play. However, recently I actually did get my uh, Wusa 64. Not that it matters, but I thought that was cool. Everything, my other characters are just like 61 and 62. Just give me those blue thingies so I could click another one, fail it again. Just like my pen Devo. <laughs> Man, dude, that actually feels so bad. Downgrading a Devo feels worse than like failing pen black star clicks. All like, if you have watched my entire journey to pen black star series, it was uh, 23 episodes, by the way. It felt downgrading a. Pet Debo feels worse than the entire series of failing. Just to give you an idea.
There's one thing in Final Fantasy that I like that BDO I wish they had. So you can resize the UI of every, basically everything. So I would like to, you know, actually see all my buffs. And then there are skills that I would like to make bigger than the others. That I wish um, BDO would have, like fully customizable UI. Are we about to hit another hour with no limbo token? That feels bad. I think I might actually just have to start putting orders on them and hoping to get it. Another ember. It's a free hundo. This week, though, <laughs> I am literally down more silver than 23 episodes of enhancing my black star. Minus three pendebo clicks, and the one downgrade obviously sets you back a lot more than. All the crons that are annoying to get. That took time to get. During the next down phase, we're gonna click this dumb item. Wait, what was that red thing? Uh, our goal is to get this to pen and I think what do you get the special dosa release furniture whatever that means realistically I would rather have like 500 cron stones which is an option but I think theory is better Wait, what do we even get for plus 10? A Trigo bag. I, I still don't know. Is it like if you turn it in at the current rate, you get that item? Or do you get everything below it as well? It would be nice if they just like, if you got it to pen, you get all the rewards. Not just one. Yep. 
mini boss stuck in it inside. You know what's worse? Like the worst feeling? I had to go for a Pendebo earring. And that one, I think I got on seven clicks, seven pen clicks, that is. Um, and like you already know that piece is like the first one to get replaced if things went wrong. So, yep, it feels worse when the rings are like what you actually need. If I had like a tet earring, but a pen ring, I would have been a lot better. Though it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, we'll get them all. I would hopefully like to be done with all my pen pen accessories by the time sovereign weapons come out, but we don't know when that's happening. So today we are three embers and five artif artifact things. We can do the side swipe. Nice. Seventeen more minutes of this grind. basically the distance to move if you want to one cycle it would be to another leg Ooh, another ember we need all the silver we can get because man right now I'm just like Final Fantasy right around the corner. Failed that Pendevo.
At least we are done with um, black stars, which is the only good thing. I do hope that Land of the Morning Light 2 is actually really fun. Because, man, the first one kind of... <laughs> there's no reason to ever be there after you beat the story one time. Also, if they add more of those adventure like boxes that we have to find the first time, because it gave you like the one AP DP and thing. Oh my god, I hated that so much. I didn't want to find 200 books. In 10 minutes, we'll calculate our totals. See how much silver we made. I think I'm using down attack add-ons. <laughs> yep, that's not right. That explains a little bit. <laughs> I should be using um, more crit. These limbo tokens, they do not like dropping for me. And then I see some other streamers, they just get like two an hour, easy.
Oh yeah, I also like notice a difference in loot without a without Agris on. You know, one thing I wish we could do is convert loot scrolls, like the things that give you one hour, into like Agris. That way, all the people who have like three thousand scrolls or something. It just turns it into like 10,000 Agris and you can use as many. I think that would actually be good. And then if you're a person that doesn't have a lot, well, means you grind a lot. Also, they would make more money by sales. Like if they put it in those bundles in the Pearl Shop with whatever they sell. I think if they gave 10,000 Agris per loot scroll out of like 2,300, <laughs> that would be so nice. Let's head behind this thingy so it does the slam. There we go. That's how you do it. So the purpose of that is you saw how the leg was damageable at all times, especially when it did that one leg phase. Uh, if you move a distance like behind another leg, it'll keep the vulnerability spot open, which is what you're supposed to do for all the people who are pulling big loot numbers. So you just hide behind another leg and then when it does its effect thingy, the main leg will always be attackable. That's how you burst it down fast. But I'm a dark knight. Things don't work like that. Got my combo in. Wait for the AoE slam to go. Okay, that didn't work. I think I wasn't far enough. Another ember. I like those. What, fifteen again? No, twelve. Overcharged. Yeah, non aggress loot kind of sucks here, I'm going to be honest.
Uh, with three minutes left, we might be able to get one more leg cycle down. I was doing my uh, boss blitz earlier today. And my god, like, I, I don't know. After the hit change, things just haven't been easy. <laughs> I'm still able to do sevens, but it just... I haven't been able to reach the time that I previously got. Like, no personal bests anymore. One minute left. I think we should be able to go through one more phase and then once that's done, it's done. So you know what's scary? I only have one Devo Ring base left. And I'm going to use it to get this back to Tet. But I'm scared if it downgrades to Duo. <laughs> that's actually bad. I don't really want to go down actual 6 AP. So. I'll try to get it back to Tet. If it doesn't go, I might have to buy another. Save up and buy another Tet Ebo. With the amount of hours I've been grinding, it legitimately feels easier to grind 70 Bill than it is to get those Limbo tokens. All right, we'll finish up this phase and then call it. Let's uh, calculate everything. This. And my pets are normal again. Alright, let's see. So. We got 31k loot. We didn't have a full Agris, though. So, yeah, it makes sense. Let me calculate that. 31, 7. 25 times, how much does this cost? 25, 190. That's about 800 mil in trash loot. And then... Five of these. 1.3, and then another 50 times six. Yeah, I would say about like... Maybe like 1.7, 1.8 billion before taxes. That's pretty good. Yeah, 1.8 bill before taxes. No 
artifact or limbo token the things we actually want that's okay we'll be grinding again thanks so much for watching see you guys later peace